equations of lines. The first form of lines that we're going to look at is called general form. And you may notice that this looks very much like standard form, um, which is ax plus by equals c. So when it asks you to put an equation in general form, you just want to make sure that everything is on one side of the equal sign and zero is on the other. That's all you need to do. If you have a vertical line, it will always be in this form, x equals some number. Um, that's because there is no y value there, so it is a vertical line. If you happen to have a horizontal line, it will have the exact opposite um, as a vertical line. Instead of having an x present, we're only going to have a y present, and it should be equal to some value. Now, I want to run through a couple quick examples with vertical line and horizontal line. Let's say we have um, x equals 2. Okay. So what kind of vertical line would that look like? Well, basically you want to find 2 on the x-axis, which would be right here, and your line is going to be vertical simply going through that point. So that would be my answer. That would be my graph. If it were a horizontal line, let's say it's y equals 2, then I would find 2 on the y-axis and make a horizontal line going through that. So that's all you need to do for horizontal and vertical lines. And of course, one that we are all very familiar with is slope-intercept form. And the M here stands for your slope. And the B represents the y-intercept. So let's graph one of these real quick. So let's say we have y equals 2x plus 1. So you first of all always want to plot your y-intercept first because that's your starting point. So there's 1 on the y-axis. And then we're going to follow our slope to find the next point. And remember that if you have a whole number, it's still a fraction. All whole numbers are rational numbers. It would be the same thing as 2 over 1. So that means I go up to and over 1 from my y-intercept. So from here, the point that I already have on my graph, I go up 2, so up 1, 2, and then over 1. So there's my second point. And you only need two points to plot your graph, so I'm just going to connect those two, and that would be my solution. And the last one that we have is point-slope form, which should also be familiar to you, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And once again, m always stands for slope. And then this term represents the y-coordinate of the point that they give you, and this represents the x-coordinate of the point that they give you. So let's graph one real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot this. So. I'm going to label my point over to the side so that it may be a little bit easier to do. So the x-coordinate is the minus 1, x minus 1 in there, but you want to be careful to make sure that the sign matches the way that the formula is. And if you look over here in the point-slope form, there is a minus sign right there. So because the minus sign stays there, then that 1 means that it's positive. So my x-coordinate is positive 1. So now I look at my y-coordinate, and it says y plus 2. Well, in point-slope form, it says that it should be y minus y1. So this is not a positive 2. This is a negative 2. So I'm going to plot that point on my graph. A negative 2 would be right there. And now I'm going to find my slope, which is 1 half, and I'm going to use that from this point to get my next point. So that means I go up 1 and over 2. So there's my second point, and I connect them together, and there's my line. And that concludes this tutorial.